The consumer unit wiring is an important aspect when it comes to home electrical installation. The choice of an MCB depends on the circuit that that specific MCB serves. Be it that cooker, we definitely select a 32 ampere. And the reason why we do so is because of the amount of current that that specific circuit consumes. For heating circuits such as an instant shower or a geyser, we definitely require an MCB that serves that circuit. A 32 ampere circuit breaker will definitely serve that purpose. The lighting circuit, as the word goes, is light. So we will need a six, depending on the number of lights that we have for that circuit. There is another issue when it comes to several circuit wiring, and this is definitely the amount of power that is drawn from the MCB. Socket wiring is another important aspect when it comes to home electrical installation as well as the industrial. You have to ensure that the MCB that is supplying power to these sockets is definitely a 20 ampere or even 16 depending on the amount of power that that circuit requires the primary role of an mcb is to protect circuits against self-sabotage self-sabotage can come from either short circuiting of the wires these are face or line wires neutral or face and the earth connection another issue could come from the appliances themselves if at all there is an internal fault from an appliance that can lead to a short circuit that can lead to further damage then the mcb or the miniature circuit breaker will definitely shut down and protect the installation from further issues such as melting of the insulation of the electrical cables or further damage to the appliances or in very worst scenario fire hazards that could lead to burn down of an entire home now an mcb is very important and the size of that mcb matters my top boss are you getting value out of our today's topic kindly smash that like button it is such a great honor to always have you watch my videos i have two mcbs with me here i have a six and I have a 16. They are from different brands. We have Powermax and we also have Chint. But that doesn't really matter as much as the numbers that you can see here. We have a 6 and we definitely have a 16. It means that it can only allow less than 6 amperes. Anything above this will definitely lead to its tripping. Now, when we have a 16 ampere, we are definitely referring to socket circuits, you know. So if you have it in the MCB and the sockets draw more than these, it means that an appliance that has been connected is drawing more current from that circuit and therefore this MCB will trip. This can either mean that the particular appliance that has been connected to that socket or to that circuit is larger than what is supposed to be there or it is not supposed to be served by this MCB. For instance, if you connect this MCB to a cooker circuit such as this one, and the cooker draws more than 16 amperes, therefore it will trip. If you connect this 16 to a circuit such as this one for heaters served by this DP that you can see, which definitely draws more than 16, it will mean that this MCB will trip. Therefore, the choice of an MCB really matters when it comes to electrical installations. For all my electrical projects, especially domestic house wiring, that is single phase installations, I normally start from this side here. The first MCB is usually that which is large. For instance, a 32 ampere could be serving a circuit such as a cooker circuit. And then I go on to another 32 ampere, which serves a geyser or basically a heating circuit. That is also a 32 ampere. And from there, I can go to a 20 ampere circuit breaker. This could be serving the sockets in the kitchen. These sockets in the kitchen probably 
are supplying power to low heaters such as an electric kettle as well as a microwave and from there i can go to a 16 ampere MCB. A 16 ampere MCB will serve electronic appliances especially in the sitting room as well as in the dining room such as charging mobile phones. Now from there I can also add another 16. A 16 will serve the bedroom sockets. In the bedroom in many cases you will find that what is there is probably a sound system or charging gadgets such as a mobile phone, a computer, and so on and so forth and then from there i will go to a six or a five what is the purpose of a six or a five in the circuit this definitely supplies the lighting circuits i can have several because i need to have several circuits in that installation so i can probably have two mcbs which are six ampere rated each so that i can have two circuits in that home for instance i can have a circuit that is supplying power to the bedrooms and the dining room and then the common areas are supplied with one mcb so that in case one mcb trips the entire home is not left in darkness many people i realize make a decision to have a certain size of an mcb based on the size of the cable that is in that circuit for you how do you come up with a specific size of an mcb for a circuit do you go like hmm this is a 4.0 or a 6.0 therefore let me use a 20 or a 32 ampere mcb or do you make your decisions based on the end using appliance such as a heater or an electronic appliance to determine the size of the MCB that you will use? Top boss, let me know about it in the comment section. What informs your decision for a certain MCB size when you are carrying out electrical installation in your project? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much my top boys for watching today's video. Do you want to watch a step-by-step -step installation of the consumer unit MCBs as well as the protective devices? I have already done that video. Check it out here. My name is John Gatehi and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. Goodbye for now. So glad to see you my... So glad to see you my top boys consuming. So glad to have your attention, my top boss. Thank you so much for watching. My top boss, are you getting value out of our today's topic? Kindly smash that like button. It is such a great honor to always have you watch my videos. Now, if you want, many people I realize 